Um, you're driving without a driver's license, you're speeding, you don't have plates on your vehicle, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I need you to get out of the vehicle to chat with us. Otherwise, I'm gonna ask you to get out of the car, so right now I'm asking you, okay, I'm gonna tell you to get out of the car. You need to get out of the car right now. I'm going to make you get out of the car. What that means, I'm gonna break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Understand? Okay, sir, I'm telling you, we if we have to, we will break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Do you want it to get to that, or do you want to come out and talk to us? Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're, we're going to have a gunfight on the side road is what we're going to have. We do not need to have a gunfight well, on the side of the then road. Well, then you better start listening to sense. Your idea on solving this, yeah. being you have no authority or jurisdiction over me, is for me to get out of my private automobile and talk about what I just told you. And you can show me your passport. You got my passport, I dude. I don't have your passport. Them, those gentlemen do have my passport. The highway patrol do. Okay. Highway patrol, how about bring the passport so I can read it to the sheriff? Could you be so kind? So, Ankle, if you come out and explain to me your passport i'll hear your side of it you've already heard my side i've already told you my side well, you can explain your passport to me. i don't need to explain it you should know this as a leo I've shouldn't you your, i've never seen your passport <laughs> well then i don't know what to tell you we'll sit here all goddamn night but i am not getting out of this goddamn private automobile to explain myself that i've already done I'm asserting my rights to travel, and I'm informing you that you have no jurisdiction or authority over me, so and you're me, not trying to accept it. Ask the guy to pull me over to get it. I'll show it to you. It's real simple. I'm not... I, this is real simple. You're making it difficult. I, I don't feel that I am. <laughs> well... I'm the one making it difficult right now. Right, because I won't do what you ask. I don't have to do what you ask. You have zero authority over me. I don't contract with foreign corporations. The right of a citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon by horse-drawn carriage, wagon, or automobile is not a mere privilege which may be permitted or prohibited at will, but a common right which he has under his right to life liberty and the pursuit of happiness, under this constitutional guarantee one may, therefore, under normal conditions, travel at his inclination along the public highways or in public places, and while conducting himself in an orderly and decent manner, neither interfering with nor disturbing another's rights, he will be protected, not only in his person, but in a safe conduct. No authority, no jurisdiction. There's nothing... In any law. How's it a contract for you to get out of your vehicle and explain your passport to me? I don't need to do any of that. I'm trying to you explain don't. to you. I don't need to do any of that. I'm not saying you're... Go get the passport, you. bud, and I will read it to you. I was asking you to do I am asking you to go get my passport, and I will read it to you. How about that? That makes all kinds of sense, but you ain't ready for that, are you? We're in a we're in a bind then. Okay, so we're in a bind. I want you to get out and explain it to me. I'm not getting out of this private automobile. Not happening. Thompson v. Smith, 154 SC 579, 11 American Jurisprudence, Constitutional Law, Section 329. Page 1135, the right of the citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon, in the ordinary course of life and business, is a common right which he has under the right to enjoy life and liberty, to acquire and possess property, and to pursue happiness and safety. It includes the right, in so doing, to use the ordinary and usual conveyances of the day, and under the existing modes of travel, includes the right to drive a horse drawn carriage or wagon thereon or to operate an automobile thereon, for the usual and ordinary purpose of life and business. Not happening. So ask them gentlemen politely, sirs, 
Highway patrolman, <coughs> may I please have my passport to read to the sheriff? They're not, they're not going to give it back to you until... They're not going to give it back to me. So you're telling me the highway patrol in Wyoming has stole my private property. Is that what you guys are telling me? You can claim. No, it's not a claim, sir. That's another matter of fact of law. Does so that passport belong to any of you? Back. Does that passport belong to any of you? The answer is no. And if you're not giving that back to me, uh -huh. which is my said possession, what is that called? What's that called? As LEOs, you should know what that's. Let me know. That's called it's theft. Okay. So, young man, may I have my passport, please, to read to the sheriff? Okay, the only way you're getting your passport is once you step out of this vehicle. Why do you want me out of this vehicle so bad, you guys? Because there is state law, case law, Pennsylvania versus... Case Minnesota law is not law. That's where you're wrong again. Case law ain't law. Okay. Not, not even close. Not what you guys need to do is understand that I am correct. You have no authority over me. None. I don't have to get out of this private automobile. I don't have to obey your corporate bylaw speed limits. Okay, let me just explain this to you. <coughs> You're not leaving here until you step out of the vehicle. Then we'll, I ain't leaving. I am not going anywhere. And your threats don't mean jack to me, bud. Well, it's, it's not a threat. It to is. hell if it ain't. You're threatening me to get out of this vehicle so you can try and kidnap me. Meanwhile, you've stolen my property and he can't even admit that. It's the property of the United States government, actually, sir. It's a no, it is ID. not. Yes, sir. What is possession? It's, it, it is property. What is possession, I'm sir? I'm not going to argue with you, sir. I know you can argue with me because you don't know the law. Possession is nine-tenths of it, correct? All I said was... Huh? All well, I said... When I stopped you, I didn't say you're getting a ticket. I never said you're getting a ticket. I just want you to step out so we can talk face to face. We are talking face to face. Out of your vehicle. No, I'm not getting out of my private automobile. This ain't a vehicle. Campbell V. Walker, 78 Adel 601, 603, 2 Boys, Dell. 41. The owner of an automobile has the same right as the owner of other vehicles to use the highway. A traveler on foot has the same right to the use of the public highways as an automobile or any other vehicle. Okay? What is it then? It's a private automobile. Actually, Congress passed a law July 8th of this year that nobody in the United States needs a driver license unless they're dealing in commerce. Have you all been informed of that? I missed that one. Well, of course, because you guys are revenuers for a foreign corporation running under statutes and codes. None of you have ever studied the law. The United States Constitution Article 4 Section 1 Full faith and credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. January 19, 2011 Judge May's conclusion of law was that the Dallas Police Department and the North Carolina Department of Transportation are both private entities that do not fall within the executive branch of state government. This decision was upheld in judicial review by Judge Ridgway. This means that every police department in the country is a private entity. In other words, they are private contractors and private for-profit businesses. So if a walking hut security guard driving an armored car pulled you over and tried to give you a ticket, what would you do? Governments descend to the level of a mere private corporation and take on the characteristics of a mere private citizen, where private corporate commercial paper Federal Reserve notes and securities, checks, is concerned, for purposes of suit, such corporations and individuals are regarded as entities entirely, separate from government. Clearfield Trust Company v. United States 318 U.S., 363 to 371, 1942, what the Clearfield Doctrine is saying is that when private commercial paper is used by corporate government the government loses its sovereignty status and becomes no different than a private corporation. Government is bound by the rules and laws that govern private corporations so if they intend to compel a living man or woman to some specific performance based upon its corporate statutes or corporation rules, then the government, like any private corporation, 
must be the holder in due course of a contract or some consenting agreement made with full disclosure between it and the one upon whom demands for specific performance are made. The government is required to enter the contract or commercial agreement into evidence by due process before trying to get the court to enforce its statutory demands. Every so-called city, county, state or federal government entity courts, police, taxing agencies, etc. you can think of are listed on Manta.com which belongs to Dun and Bradstreet and are traded on the stock market. Real governments do not trade on the stock market. Governments are supposed to provide public services. Okay? So just admit that you don't have authority over me, hand me my passport, and say I'm sorry for impeding your travel. What do I need to give you to get you out of your vehicle? Nothing. You ain't getting me out of this private automobile. Okay. Why would I? I haven't committed a crime. I'm giving you a lawful officer <coughs> as a peace officer to step out of your vehicle. You're doing what now? We'll be right back, okay? Okay. okay. All right, sir, what's your last name? Barris, B-E-R-R-I-S. B-E-R-R-I-S. Okay. It's in the passport you stole. Okay, we didn't steal your passport. We well, then may I have my passport back? You'll get back. back. What I need you to do, okay, so I'm going to tell you. Okay, so um, you're driving without a driver's license. You're speeding. You don't have plates on your vehicle. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I need you to get out of the vehicle to chat with us. Otherwise, I'm going to ask you to get out of the car. So right now I'm asking you, will you please get out of the car and speak with us? No. I will not. Okay, I'm going to tell you to get out of the car. You need to get out of the car right now. <laughs> You're being recorded. You're That's really... fine. Okay. And under what authority are you demanding an American state national to get out of this vehicle when I don't have to prove any kind of... I am not in your corporate bylaws. I don't okay, need driver's fine, licenses. Sir. That's fine. I, I respect your beliefs. But you it's not a belief, well. you guys. Okay, this ain't so beliefs. This next time, I'm going to make you get out of the car. What that means, I'm going to break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Understand? Unless don't do that. Out. Don't do that. Okay. I'm telling you. I am telling you, if you do that, this is going to go south quick. Okay. okay? I don't want it to go south. Well, don't be you, fucking breaking into my car. private property. Then or stealing my private property. Okay, then help us out, sir. I am, I've am. i already helped you. I've educated you about the law, but you're not listening. Okay. You're not accepting the facts, okay? okay we're not now, I'm going to ask you one more time. I would like my passport back. I would like to get on my way. I have critters with water freezing. I, I really that. don't have time for this. Okay, sir. I'm telling you, we if we have to, we will break the window, unlock the vehicle, and pull you out. Do you want it to get to that, or do you want to come out and talk to us? Okay, so you're threatening to break my private property. I'm telling you that and I have do you know under the to law? take you out of this vehicle if you do not comply with our orders. I don't have to comply with your orders. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Do. Yes, sir. I do not. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're, we're going to have a gunfight on the side road is what we're going to have. We do not need to have a gunfight well, on the side of the road. Well, then you better start listening to sense. You need to start listening. No, sir. I do not need to listen to an agent of a foreign corporation. Okay. Okay? I asked you guys to go back there and call somebody in town that actually knows the law. Who's this person in town that knows the law? Apparently somebody. I would try with John Harlan as the sheriff and John ask John Harlan. Okay. And ask him. Okay, well, we have a representative of the sheriff's office right here. And he was talking to you. I know, but that don't mean he knows the actual law. Look, I'm not trying to get anybody riled up. And I apologize for doing that. What I'm trying to do is find a, a uh, an ending to this that's civil for both of us. Here's the simple ending. You guys admit that you have no authority over me. We can't do that, sir. Well, I'm sorry you can't do that. Okay. Well, but I am not gonna allow you to violate my rights to travel. I will not allow you to to damage my private property. Okay, I don't okay? I'm telling you right now. I don't wanna damage your private property, that's I, what I'm saying. Right. I don't want to at all. Okay. All I want you to do is get out of the vehicle so we can talk. That's it. That is it. And I won't damage your private property, nothing. That's not it. happening. Okay. I don't have to get out of this vehicle. 
Okay, so why why are we coming to this? Why are we button heads there? Why don't you? Because you guys are not listening to the matter of fact of law. That's why. To the matter of fact of law. So it's called the matter of fact of law. Okay. The fact of that matter is you have zero authority over me where I'm going to travel, how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do it in, and what placards I place on said private automobile. Okay. Okay? Just give me one second, okay? This ain't going to... Why are, you, why are you threatening to get in a gunfight, Frank? Because I'm not going to allow them to fucking violate my shit, dude. I'm not allowing them to violate my right to travel freely and damage my private property because I won't Listen to a so-called authority that has none over me? Really? And I've explained myself over and over? So if I got, if we got somebody on the phone, you'd, you'd talk to somebody? There ain't nothing to talk about. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So you, you wouldn't want to talk to anybody? There's nobody <coughs> to talk to about anything. What is there to talk to? You, you guys you not admitting to... that you have no authority over me? Is that what it is? You said you wanted to talk to Sheriff Harlan. I don't want to talk to Sheriff. I've already talked to him. I've talked to all your judges, your state's attorneys. State's attorneys know. I sent them cease and desist. Shit disappeared. Why? Because I know the law. This is absolutely ludicrous. And this is supposed to be America? Where's my right to travel freely, you guys? Well, Where's we'll that make, at right we'll make now? Some phone calls and see what we can do here, okay? Well, common sense should prevail. And I'm counting on the sheriff's department for that. Okay. You know. So now we're all back there having a powwow. kid for the patrol just got out of his car with my passport handed it to I guess his superior highway patrolman now they're all three back there yakking again yes sir can I do for you alright sir um Here's your passport back. Can you roll it down a little bit further? You just want me to slide it in there. Just slide her in here. Okay. So this is this is back. You already pulled those out. Okay. Um, free to go for now. Okay. What'd you do to my car? We didn't do anything to your car. Okay. I got it on film here. Okay. There's nothing sabotaged on my private vehicle. There's nothing sabotaged on your vehicle. All right. So you guys have a nice day. Okay. We'll see you around. interesting so you would abuse your authority if I exercise my right whatever I don't personally care what you sentence me to I'm appealing everything today so it's gonna freeze whatever you sentence me to and we're just gonna kick it to a higher court because clearly this one is corrupt they turn in our communities to hot blocks yeah they got glocks handcuffs and badges they swear that they hot shots they want to lock us and throw away to stop watch you know direct deal show you how to cop watch cop watch Record them when a cop stops And ignore the pig chatter when a cop talks You don't need a top-notch camera, just a cop watch you Gotta know your rights or you lose them So we cop watch